We're back at SFA News Live right here on the show floor at Moscone Center. This show, you know, the energy, the excitement, the products, it just continues to build and build. And hey, this is the small show, as I said before. The bigger show is in New York come June, and we'll be there as well. So in the meantime, make sure you check us out on Facebook Live, on YouTube, and also all these interviews will be posted on the SFA website so you can just, you know, binge watch at your, at your own leisure. Uh, now I want to talk about Partners. This is a women-owned company um, that you started, Cara Figgins. Um, welcome to SFA News Live. Thanks, Phil. So tell me a little bit about Partners. What are you trying to do mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and why should consumers care? Well, I think initially consumers should care because they should know what's in their food. Uh, we do not take any shortcuts. Everything we use is an all-natural ingredient uh, to the point of roasting our own garlic. Um, Partners was founded with that wholesome integrity uh, from the very beginning. Uh, you know, we've gone through a lot of changes over the last 24 years in the industry, uh, a lot of them requiring people to take things out of products, and we've never had to do that. So my mom was in the restaurant business for almost 20 years. Um, and So that's where you get the, the culinary skill from. Right, yeah. it's all culinary. Um, and so we were in the business for 20 years in the restaurants, and we made all of our own homemade soups and salads, uh, and there was nothing to pair with them. And so my mom came up with a recipe uh, of crackers to go with the things that we were making yeah, because yeah. there was just nothing wholesome. And that's where she started. And then she, of course, sold the restaurants. Um, and my mom's really the entrepreneur behind the whole company. Yeah. Uh, she's the R&D specialist. And so uh, 1992, she decided she wanted to start another business. At the time, she was 52. So she was a very brave woman. Okay. And um, she came up with this cracker recipe, and we started manufacturing at the end of 92, and by June of 93, we had our own production facility. So it was very well Fabulous. received. So you've been he here for 24 years? Yes. At Fancy Food Show. How has the Fancy Food Show evolved? Right. What has, uh, what has Fancy Food Show and Specialty Food Association done for you and, and partners? So. Our first show, um, we came to this show in 1994 for the first time, but we did the summer show in 93, and it was a very strong reception. And in 94, when we came to this show, we won a gold Sophie. Um, Congratulations. That's it was great. fantastic. And at that show, we took 400 orders. So it was really the launching point for us. And the Specialty Food Association has been very much a part of our lives. We've done every single show um, since since that time. And for me, I was on the board for two different sessions. So I was a board member and I was very intricately involved. And it's just been a great community. Um, I think that there's lots of resources that people should take advantage of. Uh, you know, I walk around the, the floor and I see, it takes me a half an hour to get anywhere because I run right, into people I know. So it's a very tight knit group. Um, and, and it's so supportive. I mean, I think you know, we are all going through the same challenges in the industry, and to have a community where you can share those challenges is really, really incredible. So what are, what are some of those resources that perhaps a first-time exhibitor um, who only thinks of SFA as a show, right. as a great show, um, what are some of those resources that have helped you that they should be availing themselves of? You know, it's really important to take advantage of the learning tracks. Um, there's a lot. I used to be a presenter at The Basics, and The Basics is a great starting point because it helps you sort of get the lay of the land and it shortens up your learning curve. I think there's a lot of opportunities like that with the educational programs that they have where you can come in and you can learn a lot about how the industry operates without having to learn it through pain and suffering. Um, I think you can, you can meet people um, and reflect with them about you know, where you're heading and how to, how to run your business. So I think really the learning tracks are a great place to start. And also what I've noticed um, is probably, and I've been coming to the fancy food shows when I was a teenager with my dad, um, I've noticed probably the past two years mm -hmm. an acceleration of the business side right. of it where you know I, I would see some buyers, uh, certainly from gourmet stores and so on, right. as you did 24 hours, uh, 24 years ago. But if I take a look at this show, I mean, what I'm seeing are major retail buyers, right. Walmart, 
Hy-Vee, I mean the right. major, Costco, Costco yeah. Kroger. Right. I mean, this has really accelerated in just you know, a year or two, hasn't right. it? Yeah, and I think, you know, the thing is those those larger chain buyers recognize the importance of specialty foods. You know, the margins that you can get on specialty foods um, is better than your, your national brands. Um, I also think that there's opportunities with those buyers for them to pull people into the stores, right? I know that if I can't find something at my grocery store, I will go find it somewhere right, else right. and then spar spend part of my paycheck on that. Right. Um, so I think it's really important for those buyers to have the specialty foods so that the consumers don't go anywhere else. And I think they've recognized that. Um, they've gotten a lot more adventurous. I think from a uh, an exhibitor or a manufacturer level, it's important also to understand how that operates. and. I think having the larger, the stores with the larger chains here, you know, there's a little bit more complicated from a business perspective. And I think having the specialty food behind you can help you with that and to help navigate those com complexities. And, and really, you know, you have a great recipe, you have great packaging, but really help you work out all that business side of right. it. So it becomes a huge success right. as, as you've become. Well, we're, we're still working at it. Of course. But it's, it's a Constant. good process and it's a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, again, on, on all your success. Uh, one, one more question. Sure. As you walked around the show floor, besides you know your category, mm -hmm. what did you see that you went, wow, that's really cool? You know, I haven't had a really You've been great too opportunity yeah, yeah, yeah. to get out and about. But what I do see, and I think less than a particular product, is that there are a lot of small companies um, which I think is fantastic. It keeps the industry fresh. So there wasn't something I attached myself to, but when I walk around and I see all the small people, smaller companies or newer companies really trying hard to get what their ideas are out there to the marketplace, it makes me happy because I think it, competition is the best thing for all of us. Terrific. Well, congratulations. Thanks, Phil. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more on SFA News Live.